local athletes making the finals of both. So, our second final gets underway. And to start us off, it's Daphne Bills of the Netherlands. Four rounds of diving in this final of the women's one metre springboard competition. Inward one and a half somersault, 2.4 as usual range in the degree of difficulties. Our first dive. So these athletes will have already competed for several hours, performing these dives already today. Forty-eight points, the opening score. You'll see at the top there the running tally added on to the first score brought forward from earlier today. Rusa Kanerva of Finland. The back one and a half somersault. Sixteen years of age. Another reminder, this is a junior competition, hence the different format from what you might see in the Olympic Games. Not, of course, that the one-metre board is an Olympic event, but it's in all the major championships. Three sevens, 48-30. Next up, Diana Shalustyuk who carried the biggest points score forwards. Can she build on that? The athletes will be judged on how close they are as well to the board. They will be penalised if obviously they make a contact. She's got plenty of experience and some significant medals before at European level, including a gold 2012 the Junior Championships. Frida Kalgren of Sweden, who's 16 years of age, in with one and a half somersault, that's 2.4. Took her time to find her rhythm on the end of the board. You'll see the athletes adjusting the wheel before they approach the end, and that is to change the amount of flexibility. They know exactly what it is they need for their dive and their body weight and power. And they will change that accordingly. Kaja Skirosek from Poland, 2.4, this inward one and a half somersault for the 16-year-old with the strapping on her ankle. What a relaxed style. She's been successful at the 14 to 15 year level, the one below this at European Juniors. She's had a bronze medal at three meters. This is a step up for her though. And she's opened with 54, good solid seven and a halves. Saw the eight and a halves and the nines flying a little bit more in our first final with the men's Three-meter synchro, it'll be good to get those sort of scores rattling along again. Very uneven in the preliminary rounds. Catherine Torrance here from Great Britain with a inward one and a half somersault worth 2.4. She 
just continued her rotation on entry. British lads out there with their silver presentation coming up. No wonder they're in a great mood. Across the board, 6.5's average. Vivian Bart of Switzerland, 18 years of age. Two European Championships at junior level under her belt, so a bit of experience at 18 of this sort of competition. She was also at the Youth Olympic Games in Nanjing, where she finished ninth, but that was a fantastic experience for her. She admits in her little personal details they give to the media beforehand. Pleased. Decent. 52.80. Louisa Stauczynski from Germany. Third in terms of the points she carried forwards. 2.4 inward one and a half somersault. Long wait. Looks like it could have been worth it. Her toes were incredibly pointed and extended and legs very close to that vertical position as she entered the water. How rigid her legs are, really holding that line all the way through, pulling it from under the water there. Good marks. Eight across the board. She'll be happy with that. Josephine Schneider. Second of the two German girls to go. 2.4 again. One and a half for all the divers with their first dive. Tariff, as we said, so plenty more to go. Difficulty rising up to 2 6 for some, so it's a small range. All about execution 51 60. Maria Polikova had a very good free program in the preliminary competition. Well, there was no over or under rotation on that inward one and a half somersault. Look at the extension in her ankles and her knees that entry and again eight in her 57.6 she is the European junior champion now Millie Fowler trying to get Great Britain's second gold the British girls really diving well Very tidily executed. Noisy team. Not a lot of her in terms of height. Only five foot one. The powerhouse. Great line all the way through the water. 
57-60, matching Polyakova. Ekaterina Nekrasova, the European Junior Champion when she was under 15. Three meters, a silver medalist at one meter, and trying to add a goal to her collection. Using those arms for full momentum, getting as much height as possible off that springboard. Quickly through the pike position, straight eights, 57-60 again. This is going to be a tight competition. Those last three divers all scoring the same score. It's Nekrasova leading, Starczynski second, Fowler third, Ukraine, Russia chasing. Only four rounds, remember. So we start round two of four. With Daphne Vils of the Netherlands. We're up to 2.6 for a forward two and a half. sharp rotations you can see that stopping them was a problem you can see how they sometimes drift out off the straight line off the board from our aerial camera three six and a halves Lusa Canerva of Finland reverse one and a half somersault Getting a lot of height off the springboard. The more height the diver has, the more time they've got to complete the move and get in that perfect body position before entering the water. See, reverse is when they dive back towards the board. Inward, forward, back and reverse for primary positions plus the twist. 54 marks there. Tyler Celestiuk. It's 18 years of age. European champion at this height. Getting into such a tight pike position. 57-20 for her. Frida Calgren. Sixth after the first round of this final. Just not completing the move. She needed another few meters of space in order to get that extension needed. So she tucks into the pike and just doesn't manage to completely open. And it all starts to go wrong. Just didn't have the strength there to lift the legs into that vertical position. 7.60, a poor return. Kaya Skershek from Poland. Her most difficult dive of the five in the, of the four in this final a forward two and a half somersault 
2.6 on the ratings. Catherine Torrance, the first of the two British girls. Based in Leeds, 16 years of age, though from South London. Getting a great amount of height off the board, setting herself up nicely for that. Reverse one and a half somersault. Three sevens as a giant screen at the far end of the pool where the audience see a few replays, and that's where the score is paraded. That's why they're all looking that way. Vivian Bath from Switzerland, 2.6, this forward 2.5. Flung herself into it. Teammates are out there. See her getting her head as close as she can to her knees. You want a really neat, tight, tucked position for a dive of two and a half somersaults. Louisa Strauchinski is up in second place. She has a reverse one and a half somersault, 2.4. Strong figure there, standing on the end of the board there. Five point six, five foot six, rather, 168 centimeters. She's won gold medals at European Junior level in the 15 and under category. You do notice the difference in physique at this age. We've got. Divers ranging from 13 up to 18 throughout the diving. Josephine Schneider, the second German girl, back down in eighth. Hurtling through her reverse one and a half somersault worth 2.4. Two sixes are 6.5. 44-40. Now, Maria Polikova. First one and a half. Now, she just didn't get the perfect position on the board on that final bounce. Her toes, you can see there, just off the edge. She recovers it well. She still manages to get that height. And look at that tension through her body as she enters the water. You can divide the dive up into phases, so you can work your way through it. And uh, she's done decently there. 56.40 she got. Billy Fowler. Now into third place. Two point three this back one and a half somersault needs high execution. A little bit untidy. Slightly restrained response there. She just struggled to get her legs up on that final part when she enters the water. She did 
her best to correct it with her position as she went under the surface, but not her best score. With a low tariff dive as well, that's cost her points. Ekaterina Nekrasova is the leader. Very relaxed, but real elevation off that springboard. Forward two and a half somersault, 2.6. only 15 from St. Petersburg. She's five for one. Disappointing marks though, 39. So this competition opening right up again. Let's check the scores then. And Luisa Stauchinsky of Germany Aging ahead of the Ukrainian girl. Polikova down to third. Fowler dropping down six or seven points. All change after round two. Well, we've seen it time and again that the order can change quite dramatically just on the back of one disappointing show got to be consistent all the way through the programme. This long day with a preliminary in the morning might just be beginning to take its toll on one or two. Daphne Vils of the Netherlands now. Round three of four. 2.3 on this back one and a half. Well, she scored 6.5 so far in this final in her last two dives. She'll be hoping to stretch into the seven soon. Not quite doing it. 6.5, it is again giving her a total of 44.85. Rusa Kanerva, Finland, 2.4, inward one and a half, seventh at the halfway stage plus this morning's points carried across don't forget it's such a short space from that one meter board to complete the full one and a half somersault she still finds time to get to the vertical position. Long day, as I say. I mean, they've got to get to the pool very early. It's about 40 minutes on the bus to the aquatic centre from the athletes' village. That's with the police escort out the front as well. Back one and a half somersault for Celestiuk, who's second at the moment. A little bit untidy towards the end there. 2.3, a very low tariff. Forty-one fourteen leaves her vulnerable. Frida Kalgren of Sweden. The back marker at the moment, a 16 year old. Well, that's certainly an improvement on her last dive and a little bit more difficult as well. The forward two and a half somersault rates, a difficulty of 2.6. She scored 27 on her last dive. Quite a disaster, but she's come back strong. Gave the board a good old thump. 46.80. Kaya Skerczek from Poland. Back one and a half somersault. Piked 2.3.
see the strapping on the ankle. They've got to have such control, especially when starting the dive, facing inwards, and they're on their toes, really pushing through the calves, through their Achilles. Down in the sixes of a 6.5. Down to Catherine Torrance now. Big deep breath. Reverse one and a half somersault, one and a half twist. That's 2.6. Big support team with them uh, there. The British, there's a lot of investment going into. British diving and swimming at the moment. And drifting away from that board. 49-40. Vivian Bart of Switzerland, fifth. Verse one and a half. 2.4. She just seemed to hang in the air as she went out from that pike position. There she goes into the extension before entering the water as smoothly as possible. Smooth enough for the judges, though. 44-40. Now, Louisa Stauchinski coming out the middle of the pack and now setting the pace at the top. Reverse, one and a half somersault, one and a half twist, free position, and it carries 2.6. as a degree of difficulty, and she is really in a strong position. She's been creeping up the leaderboard, started in third after her five compulsory dives from the qualifications. She was in first before this dive. I think this competition is up for grabs. Three sixes, not the scores you want to be looking at when you're leading from the front. Josephine Schneider, the second German girl, the younger of the two. Reverse one and a half somersault with those one and a half twists. Pull the dive all the way through the water, the water on entry. Again, sixes for a German girl. Maria Polikova in third place. Could go higher. No one running away with this competition just yet. Polly Kova gradually working her way up the leaderboard. Eighth, fifth, third before this dive we are seeing now. 58. 58, 50 her score. Three, seven and a halves. No mistakes there from the Russian girl. Millie Fowler of Great Britain has slipped back a little. She's just out of the medal frame. This 2.4 tariff reverse, one and a half somersault, her third dive.
determined look on her face. Look at that concentration. Arms working as well round the back there behind the knees, trying to get the forehead tight but quickly out. Reach, cut through the water, hold it. Forty. Look at that positive feedback from the coach as well. Ekaterina Nekrasova down to sixth. 39 points with her last very disappointing dive. And that's a lower tier dive, 2.3 difficulty, so she really needs a good execution and that finish is not going to get marks that count as good from the coaches or the judges more importantly and that only totals 35.65 that's even less than her previous all change i suspect all change at the top polikova Stravinchinsky has dropped down. Celestio coming up. Millie Fowler still fourth. It's tight though. It's very tight. Six points, Polikova's lead. Then six points again down between silver and bronze. And less than, no, just over three to fourth place. Everything to go for in this sprint, really. Just four rounds, but still it's ebbed and flowed. Daphne Bills opens the final round. A final dive. Has she managed to get a mark higher than 6.5 in this final? And she has, she saved her best to last. That's a nice way to end it, 54.0. Well up. Always leave them asking for more. Rusa Kenerva from Finland. Sixth, 16 year old from Vanta. Heavy that looks. Good tight position there through the somersaults. Well, a lot of smiles and a lovely big embrace from the coach. Well, she looks very pleased. Giving it a good go. Diana Celestiuk in the bronze medal position. We'll have a long wait after this. 2.4 reverse, one and a half somersault. Big moment. Just a little bit spoiled at the completion, but the Ukrainians up there cheering and hoping that the judges like it. A very subtle but noticeable raise of the eyebrows from her coach. What is he thinking? See the facial contortions they put themselves through with those super slow-mo replays. Not great at all, 39.60. Frida Kalgelin would like to end her long day with a, a nice dive. Made it through to the final. Well, that was certainly an improvement on her second dive. Let's see if it's an improvement on her third and she will finish on a positive note, if it is. Yeah. 
and it is 50.7. Best dive yet. Kaya Skirczek from Poland is back down in 10th, 16-year-old. one and a half somersault 2.4 her final dive you can see as she opens up she gets into the entry position just goes over slightly at the end 49 for the polish Deep breath, sigh. One more dive. I can go home to bed. Catherine Torrance of Great Britain completing her fourth dive. Forward two and a half somersault. That was a rating of 2.6. She's actually put two of those into her selection. One of the more established divers in this final. Vivian Bart of Switzerland, fifth. Here or thereabouts, 2.6, reverse one and a half somersault, one and a half twist. Never really gave herself a chance, still had it all to do when she hit the water. Using her arms for that momentum upwards, trying to get as much height as possible. She just ran out of space. Forty thirty. Louisa uh, Stauchinsky up to first, back to second. Last dive, two point six degree of difficulty on her forward two and a half somersault, piked. And a pretty open field. Can she grab a bigger medal? Taking her time. She was a bit hesitant along the board then. She never really sort of went down there with full conviction. Never hit a rhythm. You can see her straining. Her legs just flipping over after her entry, making that big splash. Not what a diver wants to finish on. She's going to have to settle with 37.7. Josephine Schneider is just too far back to really make a charge. 2.6 forward, 2.5 somersault. charged at that dive anyway. Signing off there with a committed dive. Fifty two points. Getting down to where it really matters. Maria Polikova now with one more dive to see if she can bring home another Russian gold. Sounded good, looked good, and the cheers from her supporters, if not her impassive coach, look encouraging. 
There was a nod of approval from the coach. He is of the thought that that's enough to secure the title in the women's one metre springboard final. Two to go, we shall see. But that was a pressure dive, and she's delivered really solid marks. 58 50. Hers for the taking. Stauchinski celebrating there because it looks like she's on the podium. Millie Fowler just out of it. 2.6 forward, two and a half somersault, trying to grab a headline. I don't think so. Just trailed away in this final, the British girl. You could see the look of distraught on her face as she exited the water. She still had a very alive chance going into that final performance. And I think she might need that hug. Disappointment there for the British girl. And two for Ekaterina Nekrasova, who must have come into this final full of hope. Showing what she can do right at the end there, perhaps to increase her frustration. Well, a perfect takeoff, the positioning on the board just back from the edge and that's got to be one of her best dives she'll be pleased to finish on a positive note but will definitely be frustrated with her overall performance 58.5 what a way to finish showing us what she could have delivered well a really thrilling competition that kept us right on the edge of our seats but it's another gold medal